Hello there. Welcome to my reaction to Extremely Alternative Medicine by John Tron. And if you hear any weird noises during the video, it's my neighbors being weird, weirdly loud. I don't have any idea what's going on. But anyway, I don't know what's going on here either besides this is going to be about Ray Shadow Legends because it's in the description. So let's start it. Hey everyone, before we start today's video, I've got some crazy news for you. This month, Raid Shadow Legends is turning three years old! Oh my Can god. Can that? There's simply never yes. been a better time to start playing. Now, as everyone already knows, this game slaps. There's always something newly updated, and they're continuously adding sick champions like Sifi the Lost Bride, Sir Nicholas, and Hackhorn Smashlord. You must uh, Sir really Nicholas. enjoy smashing. Relatable. You can celebrate this monumental month by using my QR code or the links down below to download Raid for yourself, for mobile phone or PC. In the last three years, a lot has happened in the game. They've added the Shadowkin faction, a tribe of warriors from the Far East that were recently liberated from the Reign of Evil. And of course, there's wow. the Doom Tower, with over 120 oh, levels and bosses to battle. And the newest addition, the Hydra Clan boss is without a doubt the biggest baddest boss ever to set foot in Teleria. Well, <laughs> yeah, those are pretty cool. except for myself, of course. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. For a limited that. time, you can use my link or scan the QR code right here to get a free starter pack worth almost $40. New players will get epic rare rewards like Misericord, Tiger Soul, and Romero. You'll also get 10 Magic XP Brew, 10 Force XP Brew, and 10 Spirit XP Brew. Act fast! You can't afford to wait on rewards like these. And since it's Ray's birthday, naturally, the gifts just keep on coming. All Ooh. new and existing players can get a bunch of free birthday gifts worth it's over It's a better anniversary than Genshin had. Once you're in it's game, good. just enter promo code three years raid to get your hands on everything. You can also find me in game under the name JonTron Show. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you there. I'm not doing well, guys. Oh no, he needs some medicine. I don't know if you noticed, but I ate a lot of fried chicken in that last episode we did here. We had to do a lot of takes, too. And frankly, in the end, it made me very sick and unhealthy. I tried to wash it down with some edible chalk, but it didn't work. Oh, that's what that is. What the fuck? There's nothing edible about this. In fact, turns out it's the chalk that really did it. Yeah, it was a chuck. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's terminal. Don't you understand? I've got to find someone who can make me healthy again. And I totally haven't done this video idea like five times before. You know, looking at this track record right here all of a sudden, it seems clearly to point to one thing. Health advice from celebrities does not work, okay? And clearly... My but to be honest, those videos are some of the best. ...company caught wind of what I was doing in my, with my body in regards to that, which is why they sent me this nice folder showing me that um well you could say my options have become a little constrained oh okay. american healthcare am i right this would not have happened had i lived in denmark true good news is though in this country I you get what I you know. pay for and i've got the best plan on the market they were kind enough to print me up a whole four people who are still in network and desperate enough to take my money so you know <clears throat> i've got my research cut out for me let's not delay who's number one michael shane Michael spelled with a Y. I, that's huh. a little untrustworthy, but he's got a sort of honest looking face. It's good Looks like Sir Nicholas from Ray Shadow Legends. Oh, God. You can feel his, his uh, childlike presence. We're in for some shit today, aren't we? Okay, I. But he's getting healed. He's not the healer himself. Or did I miss you know, that we've part? we've done this whole health guru thing before, but that was nothing compared to the real winners I've got to show you today. You ain't seen anything like this before, trust me. This is alternative, it's okay, alternative I'm real... medicine. It's not your grandpappy's mainstream Gwyneth Paltrow Skynet microchip tracking ring. Okay, it's fringe stuff. So let's get to our first contestant, shall we? Michael Shane, a man who claims to be able to time warp gems into his stomach and then throw them up and somehow that's supposed to do something for you oh he's not Even getting killed happens. he's just okay, doing let's look, let's the look thing this guy up. michael shane i don't know i really who spells michael like this yeah michael shane physical mediumship Rev you already clicked well, that think, it's purple i don't know if rev stands for reverend but i'm gonna assume that 
Explore the depths of truth inside your... All right, dude. Make your thing scroll slower. I'm trying to learn. Reverend Michael... <laughs> Fuck, say, I can't even read... There are Reverend two of them. Spiritual teacher and transphysical phenomena mean... At least make it easy to read if you're going to make it scroll this quick. Spiritual teacher and transphysical phenomena medium. You got that? That's what he is. Okay, about Michael Shane. Got Here nothing. he is. The man in question. Reverend Michael Shane is a certified physical medium of the SMP. Don't you gotta basically change the uh, acronym if it's just straight up got ass in caps on it? Just saying. Oh, here, 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 we, got a, we got a quote from him here. I believe everything that has been taught to me can be taught to others if they're willing to learn. I'm willing to Fair. learn how to woman Fair gemstones. I think. Okay, this is all getting a bit complicated. Uh, why don't we let the man speak for himself? Take it away, Reverend. Okay. My name is Michael Shane, and I'm what you would call a uh, transphysical phenomena medium, which means I'm That's able what to you would have called yourself. Using the energies of ectoplasm. Oh, you should have said so from the outset. That's a dog whistle for all the loons in the audience to start paying attention. Why are we talking about ectoplasm? What's going to happen next? Is Slimer from Ghostbusters going to pop up? I don't get it. He's going for all these, you know, like transmedium, vibration, ectoplasm. It just doesn't, it doesn't fit. doesn't have the ring. Physical yeah. objects from uh, an, an, an adamant like gemstones. Like gemstones, you know, can I grab you with that? Forget the other stuff, you know, sparkly, you like that? He has amazing abilities. You can feel his, his uh, childlike presence. Yeah, no, that's... That's how I would describe it too. His childlike presence. He's just like a little boy. <laughs> His mouth is fucking tight. Uh, I'm gonna agree. I feel childlike presence from him. Because as any child, he just fucking puts anything he finds on the ground into his mouth. So I see the correlation. I mean, at least they matched it with a perfect clip there. They're like, what, you need You need the childlike presence, B-roll? Oh yeah, I'll, ju I'll just wait, I'll get that in there. I think the man has just a, a very strong intuition. You comfortable? We're doing an interview here. This is... It's like if <laughs> I was recording this like what, this. What, that's what they chose to represent him? I'm here just to make sure that this accords with the ratified amendments and such, and the bills of rights. Oh, the throwing up of the diamonds and the jewels? Oh, no, I, I am only interested on, in that in a perfunctory level. I love the Patriots shirt. It, it, <laughs> it really brings it all together. He, I feel, has been given a gift that's able to really transmit to a lot of many different people. I absolutely love that him? Michael Shane just casually standing around talking in the background here. I don't even know how that man keeps his, like, center of mass. <laughs> Look at that devilish dog back there, just chatting up that cutie. You know, you, you just know he's he's dropping a couple. Yeah, I do like gemstones. You ever heard of like yeah. ectoplasm? You can make sure I don't have anything on my body. <laughs> At first, I'd like you to just just pretend you're a cop. I just I'm just into this. No, no, officer, I don't have anything that'll poke you or stick you. <laughs> Let's get a nice close up on that. Beautiful. The fuck is that? Their whole lives to get footage like this. I mean, what, look at what we're looking at here. This is important. Otherwise, you wouldn't have zoomed in on it. It's the childhood, childlike like presence. That seems to be a void Darkness. of nothing. I'm pretty sure there was something before he zoomed in that wasn't nothing. But it looks like nothing. Well, what's that? Some head. Old banana, like South American bananas, like those brown mm -hmm. ones. Maybe it's may, it could oh. be Michael Shane's fingers. I don't really remember what happened at this point before we zoomed in. I don't. I've never tried these bananas. Finally. Someone's shutting him the fuck up. This has got so much like amateur magician act energy. What, what, it is. That's not helping the cause here. If you're supposedly warping in things from different realms, the duct tape seal is not really what's gonna sell me. I'm guessing it's like, oh, he can't put anything in his mouth now, right? <laughs> so they have to come from somewhere <laughs> else. Genuinely, what was that? <laughs> A guitar pick. Oh, okay. It doesn't look oh, like that. I believe the man is in pain. <laughs> That's where the belief ends. But I believe the man is struggling. Oh, the divinity. 
Yeah, I'd pay to see this, definitely. No, I'm sold. Get me, does he have, does he have tour dates? <laughs> Was it worth it, Mike? Would you swallow that $2.99 bag of mixed gems from Amazon Basics again? I know you would. And just to be clear, they put the tape on it first to prove that he couldn't have done this or just eaten them beforehand. I think it works better if you do beforehand. Does he just vomit them after he eats them? It's like a David Blaine thing where... Is that David Blaine? I don't remember. That he eats a frog and stays alive in his stomach and then he vomits it back up. Is that what this is? He just warms shit back up, but much less impressive than a live, a live frog, but still. Okay, so now after all this, he sits down with his crew and like examines the haul he got from his magic throw up. And then he goes on to like imply that the objects were like warped into his stomach and they belong to like mythical figures or historical figures from centuries past. Isn't that one of the masters? Yeah, it sure it looks, looks like, like it. it. All the dimes are from Saint Germain. How do you this know? This one's from Quan Yin. Hell is that? Here, that's uh, El Moria. That's definitely Quan Yin. Now, Reverend Shane, I didn't see that with the rest of it. You yeah. You produced that, and I know that. I was thinking that it wasn't there, and like it's gonna be hard to throw up because it's big or swallowed to begin with. But it didn't show the th we were throwing the bomb. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's wet. I hate to ask, but you did disinfect this, right? That one's for you, honey. I know you want it. I've seen you eyeing this guy up. That's an Amazon Basics fake gems plastic. That's a US one cent coin. Just for you. Fraction of a cent. Cost a little Bangladeshi boy's life. Threw it up in the back room. A little, little too much barfing uh, for my taste with this guy. Plus, I'm afraid my own barf reflex is gonna get triggered or something at some point. So, uh, who's next? I'm afraid he has to, has to spell John with a Y after this. Stephen Turoff, psychic therapist and psychic surgeon. Made nice of light. Dressed, got some kind of a smile here. Uh, not Her. too threatening. Let's see what he's got. Stephen Turoff. Let's have a look. He's got his own website. Stephen Turoff started his career as a carpenter. Uh, I don't know, man. The Very Jesus-y. The teacher to try this route ended up being the carpentry. So, but to each his own. He works with the power of light. That's what he's working with. That and a hand I saw. like the angle Why of do it. I feel like I'm going to get in there and he's just going to start flashing a flashlight at me? You feeling better? It's light therapy. And if the website weren't enough, uh, he's also got his own cult or something. You know, emphasis on or something. So... What else do you need? Hmm. You're covered here. You got the gamut. This guy's made it big, okay? He even made it on the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. Three, Remember though. That? that used to be good. I never right, heard of BBC made. Three. Stephen, you've been called a gentle giant. Why is that? I'm a giant. Maybe because I'm tall and I'm gentle. Oh, another swing and a miss for you, Mr. Journalist. Why don't you go get your hit piece somewhere else? Okay, but that's enough of that mainstream stuff, all right? I want to get more intimate. I want to learn, uh, you know, from I the don't. words of Stephen Turoff himself. So let's go to the more advanced section here. We got Ministry of Enlightenment, Conversations with Stephen Turoff, Light Phenomena, Part 1. Oh. Ministry mode. I don't mode. myself spathing in this light. Oh, no, that's just the lights? <laughs> well, it felt like it. So for context on this video here, it's basically him sitting at his shrine of family photos, Andalabra. explaining and showing off these miraculous images Light where he's depicted exhibiting his superpower of glowing on camera. Big if true. Let's get to the bottom of this. Explain yourself. What's really interesting, there's no special cameras. Uh, all different cameras take these pictures of me. The latest one uh, we have is this one. I have this giant on my door. To light. Can't do it right now. In a scroll. I'm, if you see, I'm charging. You can't even see the uh, the par the jagged parts from Photoshop. Literally right here. You can't even see the glow effect that I'll do right now. I can do right now. 
For you naysayers, you know, Steven doesn't have to defend himself. I will defend him for him, okay? Are you suggesting that Steven Turoff, a man of wise spiritual teachings who just wants to freaking help people, would do something like this? Like this? You saying he would do some shit like this? No, that one on the left looks way better than what I just did. Okay, there's no way. That one's real. Cause I only took, I took only like 15, 20 seconds on this. Give me like 60 to 80 seconds. I can make it look, re in fact, no, you wouldn't. It's way too easy to just do that. That's real. You know, some people say, oh, I paint these on, I do this, I do that. No, I don't. Some people say I'm a big liar. <laughs> some people say I'm making it all up. No. No, I'm telling the truth. The light man. Steve, maybe one of those angels can come down and, and tell you that for PR purposes, maybe don't look down and, and twiddle your thumbs like a freaking guilty interrogation subject <laughs> right when you're saying you're not lying. So, you know, you can't say... Oh, this just shows how again. easy to fool people. Probably a lot of people if he appears on television. Is that a German flag in the bottom left? No, two different cameras took these photographs. Shit, he got me. I've got no outs. Hey, wait a minute. What if there were two Stevens? The national mm -hmm. newspaper come to do an article on me, and they filmed it, and we have uh, somewhere here. Yeah, here, the pictures where you can see the angel, and you can see they've got no feet. They're floating above the ground. That's a picture of my dog. He died. So I try to get him as close to heaven as possible. It's been a while since I've seen him. Oh, what a cute dog. I want one. Gosh, what a beautiful dog he was. Yeah. It was broad daylight. And this is the picture. At broad daylight. And I was working in the healing room. And they were filming me. And uh, as they filmed me, I dematerialized. I mean, I'd show you the picture, but <laughs> frankly, there's not much to see. If you watch the film, uh, you can see me going, ah! Yeah, I know I should have said this going in, but, you know, my eyes are a bit sensitive to light, and uh, the mm, last carpet I enough. worked with dropped a brick on my cat, so... But we still have two options, okay? I'm sure cat, one not, of these... Not the dog be right. that showed before? Uh, so okay. what do we got here? Pranic healing. Well, his energy oh, he's also glowing. strong, so that's always a plus. Uh, let's check it out. Crown. I've seen these. I know Crown. I got this. Is it a halo? Forehead. Even better. I am, that's one. <laughs> I'm cruising. So this is good. This is good. We're, we're two for two. Ajna. You... Okay, we're two for three. Throat. Okay, okay, we're, three for okay, four. We're back in familiar territory. Front heart. <laughs> that's a typo, right? So front solar plexus, spleen, navel, slow down, slow down a minute, god damn it. Sex. Sex. Yeah, well, I understand it, I guess. I didn't even realize we had back heart show up here. Oh, yeah, and back solar plexus, and main, back main. spleen. We can't forget the main, main, crown, forehead, throat, Ajna. front heart. That's the main, main, that's the main, main. It's important. Well, don't get it twisted. Your back heart is there. It'll heal me. It's okay. We've got to give it a chance. We're only 38 seconds in. I'm having a pranic attack. <gasps> Let's move on. Okay, we've covered the basics. Now I want to know about the aura and its components. That's the inner aura. Okay. That's the outer aura. Makes sense. And those are the health rays. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's a bright, healthy aura. That's what it's going to look like. A bright, mm. healthy aura. <laughs> and you know you can trust these people because they've done their proofreading. I'm assuming it's the English that. How to activate your hands. Oh, is that why they've been <laughs> sort of. Well, how's he doing it? My hands are deactivated. Whoa, whoa! And what is this? The English is not That's their. That's crazy. Everyone's been. <laughs> First language. That's not I'm assuming. Also 2010. Is that easy just like that? Just. Wow. No, I still feel like I haven't slept and I feel like shit. Watch out! Watch out! Don't shoot it in public, man! Learn to scan and locate the chakras. Is that Be the front heart? Gentle. He's not gonna he's not gonna press your chakra back into you. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that main boundary. Yeah. Got that. 
<clears throat> front solar plexus destroyed. Back solar plexus destroyed. Front heart, 30% capacity. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's a chakra clog right there. You don't need more than a Dyson vac for that. That's a serious job. See, it's just that simple. Now she's yeah, Eddie Murphy. And now she can clean chakra crumbs Wait. off that guy too. So just shut out where he's that mustache. Dirty boy. You were a That's congested why I said it. boy. Dirty energy disposed off safely. <laughs> you just, <laughs> just plopped in the water. water bowl? What do you gotta what do you gotta wring out your hand too before you go back? How to dispose dirty energy in absence of salt and water. This. This I need to know. Because yeah. Sometimes you don't Splop have it on the hands. ground. Oh, into oh, hell. You get the green, you throw it in the green fire. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Isn't that wild well, flame or whatever? Too, like, I, thought, I thought it was like maybe too obvious, but um, create the green fire, um, wang it right in. Good thing he didn't need the green fire here. He's got the salt and water. Yeah, he got some but, water um, and salt. It's good. He's good to go. I'm just saying, one seems a lot more common than the other. I, I'm trying to think mm. of when you'd need the green fire, like, really. I don't know. I have, like, five yeah, of them in my room. You'd pretty much never need the green fire. And if you were in a situation where you needed the green fire, um, you probably got bigger problems than, like, cleaning your chakras. You could do that later, like, after you get out of the Gobi Desert. How to disconnect yourself from patient after a healing. Just smack that off. Just give it a couple. Learn how to locate the spiritual cord. Why? Why you need to know where that is, dude? You wouldn't be thinking of selling that cord, would you? Because it'd be real easy if you wanted to. It's just one shot. Bang. They're and you gone. can connect your and switch to the spiritual really cord to. No, you maniac! What are you doing? To charge it up, I wanted to say. Yeah, I don't know. Not for me. Let's move on. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, they pretty much lost me in Ajna, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one. What's next? All right. Well, there's one left, so Braco. it's down to fate now. Braco? And fate's name like Draco, would be but Braco. Braco? Braco? Braco. Braco. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's from Nebraska or something. Show me what you got, Braco. Like Swedish. What's the pronunciation? Why so sad, Braco? Uh, have, did you have you come to kill me? Uh, just be honest. Did you, have you come here to kill me? He saw oh, you Google how to does. kill yourself he painfully, and here he is. That's all it is. That's all he's got. That's really? all she wrote. That's all he looked. But that's not even the bad part, okay? He's got accomplices in this crime. He's he's out there regularly drawing crowds in at least as big as like an anime convention panel about Naruto Sharingan power levels. Who are the people who are going to see this? Oh, he's not even there. He's just on the screen. Why are you crying? What? I think Bratso is on to something because there are no words for this, really. Uh water just poured out of my eyes oh yeah that's called that's called crying yeah that does a um, tears is milady what's your iq i could barely see him on the skype session because i was crying so much he fucked it up i, I waited forever and then i just whatever this whatever this was crying 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 you know i don't know why you know crying 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 did you get all that yeah we'll cry man sorry what do you think he's really thinking? For some reason, I hate this one the most. It can't be anything good. It's kind of the laziest. I hate every last one of you for what you represent. Free will is a waste. He imagined them naked. Such as yourself. I started crying. I'd rather give free will to my fucking refrigerator. I don't know. Does this guy do anything else? Honestly, let, let's go to his website. Let's see. That's always a surefire way. Bratso.me. Got it. Okay. Very nice landing page. There's this beautiful mug. Nice brand. Oh, that's all he has. Live stream. Online gazing. What do you mean live stream? He live streams? Isn't the point that you're supposed to like just be there? Gazing on, his presence? on Twitch. Doesn't it kind of cheapen it to outsource it in this way? 
What are you doing with your time? You could be here. You could be sitting here watching this with 15 Americans, two Germans, and a Kiwi. I'm really upset we're that far up in the rankings. At least we took down two Frenchmen with us, so I'm good. I'm good with it. So and apparently that's all it takes. That, that, that's all you got to do. I'm in the wrong business, okay? I should do this. In fact, would you, would you guys watch this? Hold on. Let me try. Would you watch this? I have a theory that... Well, this is Twitch. I have a theory that um, alternative medicine is so popular in the US because it's so much cheaper than the actual medicine. So people trying to believe into something else that will not cost them as much. It's not going to be helpful as much as well, but they want to believe that it will be. I don't know. Striker 347 donated and said, don't, You're a fat loser, staring baby idiot loser, wah wah, wee wee hee hee. Shut hee. up. Cavity head. Cavity Mons, head. Ben Striker 347. No, no, you know what, guys? I know what the problem is. I just don't take care of myself, you know? I'm expecting random charlatans to fix my problems, but I haven't even taken the first step. You know, I should just go on a walk, get some fresh air. Play Ray Shadow right. Legends. I'm still gonna drink, though. But let's do this. I'm motivated. Let's start our journey today. Now I'm motivated. Uh oh. Brad, so got your corner. Can you stop? Can you stop that? Not until you cry. Look, man, one of us is gonna have to move. Well, I am you, one of you will have to cry. What are you. What are you looking at, dude? Okay, oh, this very is. Pretty. This has just gotta stop. And it stopped. Is he materializing back? I'll wait. I don't know if I should. There it is. Can I grab you? Anyway, uh, this was great. I like this. Very very extremely alternative medicine some of it wasn't even medicine the dude that was just light he there was nothing about him healing people because he was light there might have been something on the website but just when he was talking in that interview that was nothing he was just saying oh, yeah I glow what's up It's just insane. Man, it, it really shows how easy to fool people. And again, if my theory is right, I see why a lot of Americans are kind of a part of it. I think it's less here. I don't think it is here. I'm trying to remember if I've ever seen any kind of ad, anything in Russia for the for some kind of alternative medicine. I've heard of it. So it, it does exist, but in much, much less. Much, much less pe people participate in, I think. Well, anyway. Great John Trump video, as always. And thank you all for watching my reaction to it. I appreciate it a lot, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Have a great life, because one of us has to, and go glow somewhere.